Hi, I'm Alex Bandon from The Sold House Magazine. If you live in a house that was built before 1978, there's a very good chance that you have lead paint in your house. Five out of seven houses built before 78 have lead paint. And until now, there wasn't an easy way to test for that at home. You'd have to take a chip and send it off to the lab. But the Environmental Protection Agency has just approved a home lead test, and it's very easy to use. This is, this is it. It's called Lead Check. It's basically these small sticks that are filled, a vial filled with fluid, and you just swab it on the part of the house that you think might have lead paint and it'll tell you whether it does. And here I'll show you how it works. We've got a piece of siding here that uh, was from a very old house and it's got some exposed parts of paint. You want to make sure that you have uh, a couple of layers of paint exposed because you might be going for one of the earlier layers of paint. And you take one of these little vials and it's got two little places where you crush it. So let me just do that. If I can do that with my fingers. One here and one here. And I think that mixes some chemicals together. And then you try and get some yellowish liquid to come out of the end. It's a little bit messy. Oh, and once you have that, you take the yellow liquid and you rub it on the spot that you think might have lead paint. And if the tip of the test turns red, that means you have lead. If it doesn't turn red and you're not sure you did the test right, they have this very foolproof way of checking. You just take one of these little cards that actually has lead on it and you test one of those and then you'll see if you really do or don't have lead on your, on your, in your paint. If you find you have lead, there's a couple of things you can do. You can contact a lead abatement specialist because this is something you want to contain. Lead is dangerous for children. It can cause learning problems. So contact a lead abatement specialist who can tell you how to get rid of the lead, or you can go onto thisoldhouse.com. We've got a lot of great ideas for how safely to strip lead paint or to contain it so that it's not accessible where children's hands can get to it.